Champions! Ciao you Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, that you are prepared and probably you're also stressing like I am stressing because when I hear that music, when I know that it's Champions League time, I am stressing. I'm stressing even for Juventus Spezia, so imagine Juventus Chelsea, the big game to 9, 9 p.m., I can't wait, I can't wait for that game, a big game, even if some players will not be there. Like uh, Ramsey. Ramsey is again injured. I don't know when and where he injured himself, but it is what it is. Strange ideas of Massimiliano Allegri. There is a strange idea also in the lineup. We will have to speak about that. I was about McKenny, about Arthur comeback, but also other things. Guys, we go through all these news in this video to prepare yourself to be 100% ready for Juventus Chelsea. What a game. What a game. Chiellini versus Lukaku, first of all, don't forget maximum of likes, subscribe to the channel, that's really easy, you subscribe with your little finger, you subscribe to the channel and you download one football best app about football, about Juventus, guys, it is for free for iOS and for Android and I can just tell you one thing, one football is on fire at the moment with all the news concerning Juve, they are reporting it in real time. So make yourself a pleasure, download it, it is for free. We start, we start with some news about uh, our friend Seferin, Seferin and UEFA that were obliged to take away the fee that the, and the sanction actually that they were giving to Juventus, Barcelona, Real Madrid, but they also had to take away the nine other teams sanction that they gave and probably they were waiting for the payment. Hey, they had to take away everything because the court in Madrid said, hey, stop, they took it away, but Seferin, he wants to apply the fino alla fine moto, he wants to continue to counterattack. so we'll have to wait, wait for this because it's not over yet, one thing is sure, Agnelli, Seferin, they are not best friends anymore because uh, for the Nation League that we will play in our own stadium, the Allianz Stadium, Hey, Agnelli is not invited. He will not even be there for the for the Nations League. Strange, strange in our home, but it is what it is, guys. We start with the sport pages. Gazzetta dello Sport, who said Milan shippato, Milan robbed. You know that yesterday they lost two one in the injury times with a strange penalty versus Atletico Madrid. It is football. It is strange. It is Champions League, guys. And what did Corriere dello Sport say? Milan che rabbia. Milan is a fury. Milan is angry, they are not happy with that penalty, I want to remind some people, Milan fans that are on the channel and watching, but also Juventus fans that says, guys, you have to support the Italian teams in uh, Champions League because they are Italian, it's for Serie A and blah 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 blah. Uh, the, the referee of uh, yesterday of uh, Milan Atletico Madrid is the same one. It's the same one that was actually refer. Uh, it's Shakir. He was actually doing the referee in the famous final of Champions League Barcelona versus Juventus when at the one-one crucial time a big penalty from Dani Alves on Paul Pogba. He never whistled, and then we lost. Not saying that we would have won that game, but I remember all the Milan fans that were happy, that were saying, hey, Juventus, when you are not paying the referees, then uh, you are losing the games. Hmm. Shakir, now you feel the pain, Milan. You feel the pain, it is what it is. What else happened yesterday? Uh, Real Madrid, they lost. They lost versus Sheriff. Sheriff that is putting actually their law. They won yesterday 2-1 versus Real Madrid. What a game. Yesterday, Inter, I don't want to speak too much about it, but 0-0 versus Shakhtar Donetsk. And finally, the first game with PSG of Lionel Messi, 2-0 versus Manchester you know, uh, City. Sorry, probably the derby from the oil or the oil derby. A lot of money on the field yesterday. A pass from Mbappé assist gave actually Lionel Messi with a number 30 on the back. His first goal with Paris Saint-Germain, 121 in Champions League. Other news about Juventus before going into the big game Juventus-Chelsea is that for the first time Juventus will have a partner, a sponsor on the sleeves. It will be BitGet A. Asian uh, cryptocurrency uh, um, company, they will be there. We start tonight versus Chelsea and then in Serie A from the Derby uh, della Mole versus Torino, we will always have it. I don't know if it's only for the home shirt or on all the shirts, I need to investigate about that, but for the first time, sponsor on the sleeves. Tutto Sport also spoke about Milan uh, that uh, actually was robbed, but then Ribalto la Juve. I changed Juventus. These were the worst in press conference of uh, Massimiliano Allegri, our trainer for today. Attenzione, allegrata in arrivo. Pay attention. How 
I like to say it, pay attention, there could be some crazy Allegri ideas. He said I will change probably the team, he already said four players that will play, Chesney in the goal, he's back in Champions League after the beautiful performance of Matthias Perin, but Chesney is our number one. Danilo will play, Alexandro will play, Locatelli already gave four players, we don't know what will happen in the front, who will play in the middle, will we play with three men, will we play with two men, all these kind of things we don't really know. Uh, one thing is sure, he said, uh, Champions League. Champions League is an ambition, it is a wish, because he said the first time he went to Juventus, he asked for a bonus in case we win the Champions League. The journalist yesterday in press conference asked to Allegri, did you ask again that bonus for Champions League? He said, absolutely yes. Champions League can't be your first target, but it has to be a wish, an ambition. Juventus players, trainers, management, the people from Juve, they have to wish and have the ambition and desire to win the Champions League. Absolutely, yes. This has to be our mentality. Speaking about yesterday, I told you, Sheriff won versus Real Madrid, 11 men versus 11 men, but uh, it can't be the target number one. Why? Look at the game of Milan yesterday. It, they were robbed, really, because it was a handball before the contact with the defender of Milan could have been a 1-1 it's a short competition where everything can happen injuries but also these kinds of VR things that were not even correct and you are robbed at the end like in the final versus Barcelona it can't be your first target but that doesn't mean you can't have the ambition the ambition like with this shirt in the past in 96 to take the cup in the air let's see what will happen there we have to speak about the lineups i told you a kind of 4-3-3 according to tuto sport with the crazy idea of allegri what is the idea of allegri bernardeschi falso nueve falso nueve he already played a few minutes there in the national italian team Keen on the bench, Chiesa on the left, and Quadrado on the right. Would be crazy with McKenny that is actually joining Locatelli as a regista, and Bentancur that is playing game after game on the right. Ramsey injured again, I told you in the beginning of the video, I don't understand. Ramsey, it is what it is. We see a beautiful picture of Keen yesterday training. I don't know. What do you think? Will Massimiliano, Massimiliano Allegri put Keen on the bench to enter in the second part of the game, the second time, or will he play him immediately? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know if you agree with Tuto Sport. what are your feelings and your sensations. It will also be Giorgio Chiellini versus Lukaku. Yesterday, Chiellini in press conference said it's not only Giorgio versus Lukaku. I remind you that versus Juventus, Lukaku never scored except of a penalty. Only on penalty, never in the game, because Giorgio Chiellini one-on-one, -on -one, he is a beast. Hopefully, I'm not jinxing it for tonight. Someone that can surprise a lot of people is Federico Chiesa, that last year scored four goals in Champions League, the same amount of goals than uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, not the same level of players, absolutely not, but Federico Chiesa at home with this time, the supporters can do something beautiful. He doesn't want only to score goals for scoring goals, but he wants to win. He's there to win. He's really uh, pumped up with the, champ with the Euro 2020 and he wants now to win as much as possible with Juventus. What about Jorginho? Jorginho that said pay attention to Juve, they are coming back in Serie A, they are still a great team, I have a lot of um, admiration for Chiellini, for Locatelli, for all these people, I'm happy to find them back, it's the first time I will play versus an Italian team since I'm abroad. Chiellini said yes, he deserves the Ballon d'Or. Why? Because I always knew that he was a good player, but from the moment I trained with him, I understood that his mental skills are so good. He's an intelligent player. It's not only a Sarri player, he's a real great player. He deserves the Ballon d'Or. And uh, if he wins it, I would consider it a part of it, also mine, because of the result we had with the Italian national team. Good news, Arthur. Arthur smiling with a hand on the head. He's super smiling. Why? Because he went back to train with the team. He will not be there tonight. He should not be there versus Torino. After the inter uh, international break, he should be there. And and we can't wait to see Arthur. He was smiling, he was happy, and so am I. The last news I told you, one football reported uh, West Ham again. Two days ago, West Ham was on Ramsey. Ramsey again injured, so probably West Ham goes a bit away. But now they are reporting that West Ham wants to go for McKenny. 
Let's see. I'm curious. He will play or not tonight? I don't know. Lineup of Tutor Sports says McKenny will start. Is he a player that is convincing Allegri 100%? Absolutely not. Not at the moment. If he doesn't convince Allegri, it can be that West Ham uh, that uh, goes on him. Let's see. Let's see what's your opinion about McKenny. Do you want to give him another chance? Do you think it's time for him to leave because he never convinced 100%? I'm curious about your opinion. Guys, don't forget maximum of like. Subscribe to the channel. Download one football, guys. Download one football. Grazie. I see you tonight for Juventus Chelsea. The big game. The champions. Juventus.